Whoa! Did I scare ya? <laughs> It's just me and Glenda. I'm a witch today. Look at my hat, it's so cute. It's purple, I love purple. Nothing says Halloween more than like purple, orange, and black. When I was trying to decide what I should be for Halloween, I thought I need to be something that's so unlike Glenda, you know? So I thought I'm gonna be a witch. It's a complete opposite from what I am and who I am. I mean, let's face it, I'm kind of an angel, you know? I mean, I've got those beautiful curly locks, just like an angel. And you know, I, and I sing so beautifully like an angel and I thought, what will make people, you know, scared and not know it's me? They'll have no idea it's me. And I thought about it and I thought, a witch? It's nothing like me at all. <laughs> so anyway, let me show you my hat. It's got a bunch of bells and whistles on it. All right, you guys, are you ready? My favorite thing about this hat is that there's... Goodness, that was just, that was such a party. I had a party here all by myself. My hair got so flat, you guys, from that hat just now. And I was like, I gotta talk to you, but the hat is just so distracting that I couldn't keep talking to you and wear that funny little hat. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to wish you all a happy Halloween, let you know how much I love you, and I just wanna share a few of my tips with you. You know, some of Aunt Glenda's tips for how to have a safe and happy Halloween, okay? So here we go, boobalas. My goodness, that must be the trick-or-treaters. I gotta get my candy. You know, I love to buy candy for the trick-or-treaters. It's so cute. I'm in my, oh my goodness, I'm in my unmentionables. I wonder if that even matters. I'll just go to the door in my nightgown. Let me get my chocolate. Oh my goodness. Boobalas, I'm coming. Let me unlock my door. Just a minute. Hello. Hi, Boobalas. Hello, how are you? Let me get down to see the little ones. Hi, okay, let me see. So, all right, first of all, let's make a nice orderly line down the driveway, okay? I want the older kids in back, and I want the little children all up in front right here now, Aunt Glenda, where I can see you. All right, first, let me see you. Turn around. All right, you little ones, what are you, six years old? Okay, and you're a witch, and you're a ghost, and you're a pumpkin and you're a candy corn. Yes, you are because you're too little. You're just a baby and your mama has to wear a you and a jumpy. And that's why you're the cutest little candy corn ever. Okay, bigger kids. Bye, little ones. Here comes the big kids. Now, normally I don't love to give candy out to the big kids. But because, you know, you're dressed up and you took the time and the effort. Then in the spirit of Halloween, I'm going to give you some candy. All right, let's see. So you just took a sheet and threw it over your head like a ghost. <laughs> you're just so creative. Him. <laughs> He's a real rocket scientist here, huh? <laughs> that one's gonna go to college. Okay, and then uh, you, hon. Yeah, the one that looks like a prostitute and you're 15 years old? Come over here. Come over here and you talk to you. I'm not giving you any candy until I can talk to you. First of all, hun, we're trying to keep you off the streets and off the poles, and so we don't want you to dress you know, so sexually explicit like that. You look ridiculous. You're 15 years old, hun. I mean, you should be, I don't know, you should be like a fairy princess or a unicorn or something, but you should not be wearing that skimpy little short skirt and the dress and, you know, trying to let yourself hang out. That's ridiculous, hun. Promise me. Do you want, I'm gonna run inside and grab you a blanket or a shawl or something to cover all that up, okay? Okay, here's some candy. So of course, you know, I ran out of Halloween candy. I guess I always underestimate the amount of candy that I'm gonna need with all those little trick-or-treaters. Do you think it would be inappropriate to give out shots of scotch? Well, if I can't give it out to the kids, I mean, why let it go to waste? Ah, muzzle talk. Are you wearing that? Do you think I'm gonna let a daughter of mine go out in public wearing that outfit? You look like you're half naked. It looks like you threw a, a, a washcloth over your unmentionables and just went out. 
coat and I don't get these outfits. What's with these girls today? Why are you wearing like a washcloth out? You're wearing something like a sexy nurse outfit or you're wearing like a little like an M&M outfit. I don't know what you're doing, but what I think you're doing is you're trying to show the tortoise off to all the boys and I will have no daughter of mine take any part in anything like that. Get back in the house, get yourself dressed right now. Go, you heard me young lady. Turn around, let me see you do a full circle. Turn around. Mm, I don't like that costume on you either. Truth be told, honey, I don't mean to hurt you or offend you, but it makes your tuchus look really fat. It's like a big rump roast in there. Looks like two pigs fighting under a blanket. All right, honey, so I wanna tell you something. Now, I know you're not aware of some of these things in life, but it's time that you know that there are very evil people out there and they love to come out on Halloween, okay? And I don't wanna end up getting a phone call that you're laying there dead in some gutter or that they sold you for some sort of trafficking somewhere. I mean, people are weirdos and you're beautiful, honey. You're beautiful, Boobala. And I just have to make sure you're safe, so I want you to take your pepper spray with you, okay? Will you call me, please, when you get there? Will you call me when you leave? Would you call me later on when you get into the car? Make sure you call me if you have to use the bathroom at all, okay? Because I don't want you to sit down on the toilet. Ugh, ugh. Icky daddy. Will you call me if any strangers talk to you? Will you call me if you bob for apples? Will you make sure you call me if the apples have caramel? I love caramel. Would you bring one home for me? A caramel apple for me, huh? Would you, hon? Would you? You won't bring your mother home a caramel apple, but I could spend nine months getting fat and overweight to carry you and to bring you into this world? I just can't believe that you wouldn't bring me a caramel apple. I don't get to go to a Halloween party. You know what you are? You're ungrateful. You're ungrateful that you have a mother as good as me. Most girls' mothers, they don't care. They let her run around looking like tramps and prostitutes on Halloween. And I bet they bring them home a caramel apple. You have a good girl, honey. I always knew I raised you right. I love you. I love you so much. Have a wonderful Halloween, kiddo. I love ya. Mm, no, this one tastes. I mean, I don't know if it tastes like it's safe. Let me try. Okay, that. I don't know if that one's safe or not. Um, I promise you, hun. I'm only trying your Halloween candy for your own good. I want to make sure that you don't get a razor blade or something in it. I just want to make sure that you are safe. Who the hell am I kidding? This is the best Halloween candy I've ever had in my entire life. I'm crazy, which it might be a little bit. Let's see it again. I, I don't know what the words are to the song. Wait, where's the button? Where's the button? You guys do not realize that when I do Aunt Glenda, it is so hot in this wig. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot under my wig on. I don't know, on the plus side, I don't think I look too bad with gray hair when I get older, you know what I'm saying? All right, bangs out of the face, out of the face, out of the face, out of the face. <laughs> and Rich is not home, and so I think I freak him out when I do Glenda. Cause I'll be like, hey Richard, come here, Aunt Glenda's here. And just like that, Aunt Glenda's gone and Sarah's back. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. But in all seriousness, okay, so like I did cut my hair like super short super short, all right? So now when I do Aunt Glenda, I'm like, is Aunt, does Aunt Glenda have longer hair than me? Am I turning into Aunt Glenda? I don't know. Ah! What the heck, glitter? Look at this glitter, you guys, it's everywhere. I can't get rid of it, it's like all in my hair right there. Glitter, get out! Why is glitter so pretty, but it's so hard to get rid of? It's all in my hair too. Alright you guys, I have a little bit of a confession to make. So these pajamas that I was wearing, <laughs> like the Aunt Glenda pajamas throughout the film, they're actually my pajamas. I know what you're thinking, you're thinking sexy mama, lucky rich with the granny jammies. It's cool.